Hello friends! So today we're going to talk about how to get your child to actually love math. Wouldn't that be amazing? Now some kids are naturally drawn to numbers and they love math, but a lot of the love for math is actually cultivated. Let's talk about it. Hmm, is this your student? Your child loves math homework. Your child just loves to sit and do homework. Your child loves to do homework with other classmates. Your student loves to write and rewrite. No? <laughs> yeah. Well, most kids don't, but let's talk about it. How can we make this happen? How can we make students to enjoy their math classes and their homework and just doing basic skills? What can we do that would help them for the future? First of all, let's talk about math facts and memory. Do your students know their math facts really well? Like, are they saying 6 plus 7, 13, 7 plus 7, 14, 8 plus 7, 15? Do they say it that quickly? One of the most important building blocks in math is mastering the basic skills such as addition math families. And on this channel, I plan to bring more information about this to you so that if you're a parent and you want to learn how to help your student in their math skills, you can do that right here on this channel. Send a message below and let me know if this is something that you're looking for. Another thing about math is that we should be practicing writing and accuracy. It is essential not just to write, not just to uh, do the math and know how to do it, but to do things efficiently and accurately. Students need to write the numbers, answer questions on paper, and work quickly and accurately as part of their math skills program. And as we work with students as young as possible, and we practice with them in a good environment, happy environment, and really encourage memory and accuracy. These are the skills that are gonna help them to feel successful as they go along in their grades. Now, if you have a student who is in, say, fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth grade already, you need to go back and kind of work on some of those basic skills because these are the skills that are going to help them to feel successful in their other classes. There is no such thing as new math so keep this in mind 2 plus 2 equals 4. We don't really need new math. We need to help students learn numbers and to learn them well. Adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing are the building blocks to all math skills. Students must gain strong proficiency for these skills in order to feel confident and to do well in higher math classes such as algebra. Now I understand not everyone is going to maybe even love algebra, but we can still help our students be successful in algebra. The other thing is if students aren't going to excel in what we call math, maybe geometry, algebra 2, trigonometry, things like that, they might go a different direction, like accounting, bookkeeping, and maybe business management, something like that. They're still going to need their math skills. So it's really up to us as the parents, the caregivers, and leaders in our children's lives that we would make sure that they get these things solidified in their background. Here are some ideas for parents and guardians. First of all, play school at home. Review math facts in the car do, while you're doing dishes. Have specific times to work together, maybe after school, 15, 20 minutes, working on some math facts, and also random times when you're just <laughs> taking a walk or, like I said, riding in the car. That's pretty common these days. We're just riding the car from one place to the other. Maybe even at a restaurant, you pull out a napkin and start writing things down. And the more times you just revert to doing some math problems in just everyday life is going to make students more familiar with it and it's going to give them more confidence. Play games with numbers such as Yahtzee, card games, 
games when you're adding points. Um, we love Rummy Cube. That's a great game to work with numbers, but also we add points as we go along throughout the game. Hire a peer tutor. Maybe someone in your student's class is really good at math and that you could pay them a little bit of money to help your kids do some flashcards or play some games and do some things that help them with their skills. How about hiring a professional teacher such as a tutor or another student teacher in your general area? These are all things that can help your student. Now keep in mind anything that you do to help your student is going to be guaranteed to help them in their math classes. How is America doing on average for math skills? Well, the nation's report card says we have 40% proficiency for math and in some areas of the country, such as California, I've heard California is like 18%. Now we're averaging all of the students in the public school setting and you know that's an average so obviously some people are doing great some people are doing maybe even worse than that but we should be concerned and we should do, be doing what we can to improve the general math skills in our country in our state it's pretty average that each student costs twenty thousand dollars per student to go to the local public school and private schools might be less i mean private schools might be more or less depending on where they are sent and is that okay with you to spend twenty thousand dollars per student and we're getting 40 percent proficiency and from what i am seeing and hearing the proficiency is getting worse not better so what can we do about this we need to take some action the homeschoolers and christian schools are surpassing the national average there are many reasons why but let's say take some action now before it's too late for your child you know do you want your child to be in the 40 percent or do you want your child to be in the 90 percent there are things that we can do to make your child more successful than the status quo review these things first of all your curriculum what type of curriculum is your student doing and what type of engagement does your student have are you working with your student does your teacher work with the, your student and how about working together with other students and there's no doubt about it that you're going to need practice 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 students will not succeed in math without some sort of practice all students should be happy students if you have any questions about anything in this information please contact me cindy bennett at can do math tutoring i also have some information below this video i have some ideas on things that you can do i have a free pdf that gives you things that your students should know in each grade I also have a questionnaire. If you would like to be on my email list, please fill that out. I am also providing in-person tutoring as well as virtual tutoring. So I am looking at growing my tutoring business and if you think that you would like to reach out to me, please reach out in one of these ways. I am having, I am offering tutoring for all ages from grades one to eight as well as Algebra 1. You can contact me at Can Do Tutoring to set things up. My email address is normandcindy13 at gmail.com. You can also place um, a comment below this video as well as reach out for my questionnaire. I do have some other information below this video as well and um, I have taught on outschool.com and below this video there is a coupon for $20 off the first class if you would like to try that out. I also teach a crochet class on Teach Me Truth. That is a self-motivated and self-propelled type class if you'd like to check that out. And if you have any other questions, just let me know. Thank you so much for coming to this video. I am looking forward to making more videos like this. I want to give free help to parents students and I would love to see the statistics 
increase all over the nation because we're getting back to basics and we're doing what's best for the students in all areas of education. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Have a great day.